Hi, and welcome to the Get Started Fast with Avid Pro Tools S6 video series. My name is Gil Gowing, Pro Audio Solutions Specialist for Avid. With S6, there are several ways to enable automation mode from both the channel strip and the master module. In this video, we're going to show you how this is done. So the first way we're going to enable automation is from the channel strip. To switch between automation modes, press the F switch to cycle through the different automation modes. Doing this while the transport is rolling will leave out write mode for safety reasons. To enable automation trim, press the M switch to toggle trim mode on or off. To enable automation on selected channels from the channel strips, select the channels you want to enable automation for. Then, use the shift and option modifier switches for due to selected at the bottom of the fader module while cycling through the automation modes. Use shift and alt for PC. To enable automation on all channels from the channel strips, press and hold the Option Modifier switch for Due to All at the bottom of the fader module while cycling through the automation modes. You will get a visual indicator on the surface as to which automation mode was selected in the fader channel's OLED display. For M40 users with display modules, there is also an indication of automation mode at the bottom of the display per channel. As it is on Icon, the automation mode switches on the master module light up to show what automation modes are currently active in the session. Also, if a parameter on an encoder is automation enabled, a status LED will light up next to it to indicate its automation status. Green is for automation read, solid red is for automation ready, and flashing red is for automation writing. There are several ways to enable automation from the S6 master module. To set up for this, make sure the Master Module touchscreen is in the Tracks view and the Master Module's left soft key panel is on Automation 1 page. Next, make sure the Tracks view is in Select mode, then select a range of tracks. This can be done in some mode, allowing you to just touch or swipe the tracks you want to select. Or, if you prefer Enter Cancel, you can press and hold one channel, then touch or swipe to add more channels. Once you have the channel selected, press the Due to Selected switch on the soft key panel, then press the automation mode that you want to enable. If you want to enable an automation mode for all channels, just press the Due to All soft key and then press the automation mode that you want to enable. Another way to enable automation on channels with the master module's touchscreen and soft keys is to press and hold an automation mode soft key while touching channels in select mode from the touchscreen. You can also press and hold an Automation Mode soft key and press the Select switch on a channel from the fader module. So as you can see, there are several ways to enable automation modes from S6. From either the channel strip or the master module, S6 lets you decide what method is best for your workflow. Thanks for watching and let S6 inspire your creativity.